Hey, I'm Greg. And I'm Billy. And we're the Fuji Guys. This is a great video on our new entry-level bridge camera. Bridge cameras, of course, have these great powerful zooms, and yet they don't break the bank. And, you know, they're a lot smaller than carrying around a That's DSLR right. with an, an equivalent zoom. This one, the 8600, is in fact got a 36 times zoom, but the most amazing thing about it is that we've reduced the physical size with a new lens design this year considerably. So we believe that this is, you know, one of the world's smallest 36 times zoom cameras. So you can still go to that soccer game, get a great picture of your kid in the middle of the field because the zoom is so powerful, but, you know, at the end of the game, it fits easily into your bag or purse. It's not a big bulky. Uh, yep. camera. So most most of our previous models and competitor models for the same type zoom, the, you're looking at a camera that's at least that much bigger. That's so great. Billy in this video is going to take us around the front, the back, the side of this camera and just kind of show you what all the controls do. So Billy, take it away. Yeah, absolutely, Greg. And of course, uh, this camera that you see is it's in black here, but of course, I think it's available in other colors as well, yep, right? we've got it in uh, red and white. Perfect. So I'm going to add the black. I'm going to show you around the camera. Of course, in the front, you have your 36 times zoom lens. It's a Fujinon lens, of course, uh, developed by Fuji. Uh, to the side of that, you also have the AF Assist lamp that helps you uh, in low light situations to focus. And you also you have the uh, flash pop-up button. So it's a manual flash pop-up. When you need it, you push it. When you don't need it, you can just clap the, uh, the flash down. Okay. On one side of the, of the cam, there's not much there. But on the opposite side, of course, you have a couple of access points. You have your HDMI and USB connectors, as well as a, a little rubber seal down here uh, this is more for all retail guys who want to power the camera up using a, a special power coupler, uh, but the camera does run on, on AA batteries. Okay, so that's a quick look at that. Looking at the top of this camera, uh, you have, of course, the two straps left and right uh, to obviously uh, carry around with you. It's included in the package. You got your shutter release button. And uh, again, like I said, you push halfway down to pre-focus and, and lock the exposure. And fully pressing the shutter button will, of course, uh, take the picture. You have your on and off switch, just hold it down for a few seconds to turn it on and, and turn it off. And you got your telephoto control, so you can zoom in, zoom out by sliding left and right. You got your standard mode dial that we usually offer, and one of the thing, great things about Fuji is that we continue to give you, you know, some of the manual controls that you find mm -hmm. in, in you know, higher price cameras, you mm -hmm. know, things like aperture and shutter controls, and even full manual, you have that there. There's even an SR Auto mode that auto detects the scene determines what the best exposure is, the best color is, and gives you the optimal picture settings. There's also some other cool features like the advanced. But of course, you'll learn more about the, those in our top featured video where I actually go through some of these features. Uh, so stay tuned for those, okay? Um, you also have your, on the top uh, your, I guess, microphone. So it does record a HD video, which is great for this. Um, and I guess that's it for there. Uh, on the bottom, this camera takes AA batteries. I know a lot of you guys prefer the lithium batteries, but personally, if you're traveling with this camera, you know, you forgot to charge the batteries, double A's are convenient. Yeah, and you get a good set of rechargeable double A's, uh, we recommend. Absolutely, and of course, below that, you got your standard tripod socket, so if you're out there, you're using the zoom, don't forget to bring a tripod with you to help keep the camera steady. Of course, the camera does offer image stabilization on the lens, so that's also going to help you with that, okay? Uh, looking at the back of this camera again, you got this beautiful uh, LCD screen here. Um, you got an LED light on top that kind of just tells you when it's writing to the card. So the camera does use an SD card. I highly recommend if you're doing HD video, you're taking a lot of photos, especially on vacation, get the biggest card and the fastest card that you can afford, okay? Um, you got a little grip here. You also got the one dedicated uh, HD video button. It starts recording for the video, so you don't have to fiddle with the controls mm -hmm. to not to be sure when you want to shoot yeah, video. Very easy to switch back from as a video camera to a still pictures camera with that one Just by video. pushing yeah. that. Uh, the directional pad is like standard with most Fuji cameras. It allows you to navigate the menus. Uh, you got uh, macro controls, so you can do close-up macro shots. And this is what's great about this camera is that this 36 times zoom allows you to shoot wide angle, mm -hmm. full telephoto, and then go up and take a picture of uh, very close-up shots, yeah. whether it's your stamp collection, coin collection. So even, you know, if you have a nice garden, you want to take pictures of flowers. And yeah. the great thing with the macro function is that you can zoom fully out and also enable the macro to get close-up of shots like bugs, where obviously if you get too close, they fly away. So yeah. it's a great option to and have. Even Great for pictures of young kids. 
Yes, you absolutely. Can, you can get these super close pictures without being in their face, if you will. You know? And the pictures are quite sharp when you yeah. shoot in macro. Yeah. So I, I, that's a nice tip to, to have, Greg. Uh, pushing up with the directional pad, uh, of course, doubles up as a delete button in the playback mode. And during the shooting mode, it allows you to do uh, an instant zoom or what we call instant crop. So mm -hmm. it gives you, uh, it gives you the, the, the scene in its entirety. And it gives you a frame box, and when you take the photo, it crops it to that frame, and it allows you to really anticipate action coming into the scene and allow you to give you better framing, and that's a nice uh, low feature to have. And to try out, you've got your flash controls, you've got your self-timer function buttons here, where you can you know, obviously do self-timer by putting it on the tripod. You've got your menu OK button that allows you to com confirm some of the settings. And like I mentioned earlier, the directional pad allows you to navigate the menu system. The playback button toggles between, of course, shooting and going back to uh, reviewing your images on the back of the screen. And of course, you got your display back button that toggles the screen display. So if you're one of those guys who you know, don't want any information on the screen, you want to see the whole picture, you can push that and have no information display. Mm -hmm. Or if you're like me and you like to use the real thirds and help you frame the shot, you can turn on the grid lines and, and, and that's uh, possible with this camera. So again, that's just a quick look around on this beautiful brand new, you know, I would say more compact, long yeah. zoom style camera. Yeah. Uh, traditional controls, traditional feel. Uh, unlike a point and shoot, you have that nice grip so it gives you a little bit more uh, Very important stability. With that long zoom. Yeah, and as Billy kind of mentioned as we grazed across this camera here, there's a lot of advanced features. So we'll have another video on this camera if you either bought this camera or seriously interested into it. Uh, I'd recommend watching the next video and he'll go into things like how to shoot the panoramas and, and using the macro and some of the other different features he uh, mentioned today. Um, so check out that video. In fact, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out more videos. And follow Billy on Twitter. Until next video, I'm Greg. And I'm Billy. And we're the Fuji Guys.